If you think you're juggling a lot in your life, just wait until you meet our next guest. Maisha Rush is the CEO of Rush Consulting Firm, a mother of 10, yes 10, soon to be 11. First of all, congratulations. How far along are you? Uh, about five months. Five months. And was this, was this a conscious decision to have 11 children? Um, so somehow we have tried probably every form of birth control and it's just like, there's other plans for us. <laughs> so. My goodness, no kidding, no kidding. What, what are the ages of your children? Um, so we have a 20 year old, a 15 year old, a 10 year old, a nine year old, a seven year old, a six year old, a five year old, a three year old, a two year old. So I'm hearing some Irish twins in there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, definitely. I was actually just counting. They're no more than the lower ones are no more than 15 months apart. That's amazing. So <laughs> it should also be noted, considering the ages of your children, you had to do homeschooling? Yes. So we started homeschooling in 2016. Um, we just felt like it was just the best decision for us. So, And we liked it. We tried it out. We liked it. The kids learned very, very well. Um, and so they excel. So we're like, why well, change the, the perfect fit, right? So this is this is pre-COVID. So so you were yeah. already well versed in, in homeschooling and what that entailed. Yeah. It's incredible. Absolutely. So how do you balance all your children, all of your responsibilities, and run a company? Um. So I, of course I hired people to um, be consultants in the company. Um, we hired a research analyst and a PR person. So that takes a lot off of my plate, which I think is really important when you're running a business. Um, in addition, our everything that we have is on a schedule. So we have a cleaning schedule, a laundry schedule, a vacation schedule, a cooking schedule, like our meals are scheduled, like everything's on a schedule. But the biggest thing for me is I have to get up before the children. Yes. Like my mind just has to, I can't wake up with them because they wake up so excited. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah, just, you know, we're older. We want to get up and stretch and kind of get the day. So I make it a point to get up at least an hour earlier than the children to kind of get my mind together and yeah. ready for the excitement of the day. And what, what time would that be? Um, somewhere between five and six. Ooh, I was afraid of that. I was afraid of that. <laughs> you put you put us all to shame here, Maisha. Uh, now your, your firm, your consulting firm, what do you consult in? Um, small businesses. Um, one of our clients, uh, Metrus, um, we help them get started and now they're a multi-million dollar company here in Charleston. So we just kind of help you stabilize and strategize and better monetize your business to kind of get you going. I think it's really good for the economy and stuff. It most certainly is. And what are your views and what you've heard from your clients, potential clients about their aspirations in their own personal endeavors as an entrepreneur, but also what the economy looks like maybe six months down the road? Um, so there's a lot of fear. And initially with COVID people, you know, it, business backed off a little bit because people didn't know where their money was coming from. Right. But once you understand that, you know, you have a craft, you have a gift and you really want to share it. Um, I teach you how to balance that so that you don't have to just quit your job and struggle through the business structure. You can outline a success map and do the work and everything will kind of gradually. And like I said, it really helps the economy, small businesses um, grow to be big businesses, you know, so. Obviously, if they're a multi-million business, absolutely. Now, you suffered a stint of homelessness, and that's when you birthed this company. Yeah, absolutely. We were um, homeless with our then four children. I had just had one in February. My husband lost his job, and then I, um, I lost my job, but then I got a job offer in Virginia. So I was like, well, what do we have to lose? We went up to Virginia. The day I got there, they were like, oh, we're not offering a job anymore. No. <laughs> so so that had to have been devastating lived, and so scary. It was. It was. It was very scary because, like I said, I had just had um, my son in February, and then this happened in March. Oh, my God. And so we're living in the car, and we applied for assistance. They told us we couldn't get assistance because we didn't have an address. Um, we just couldn't <laughs> find any help. Right. <laughs> we couldn't find any help anywhere. Because that makes so, so much sense. Just, okay. That's, right, that's another right. segment. So I'm like, there's got to be more help. There's got to be more help. And that's kind of how this was birthed. Because I know there are a lot of people who are struggling and it just needs help. You know, they need a hand up, not a handout. Mm -hmm. Right? And so that's what I stood there for. I stood in the gap. 
That's incredible. And so you've used these principles that you've developed yourself, you've applied them to other people's dreams, and you've applied them mm -hmm. to your own life. What would right. be one piece of advice that you could give people who just feel chaotic in their world? I mean, they don't ha have to have even one child to feel that way sometimes. So how would you recommend someone gets themselves in order and ready for life's next challenge? All me. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, really, um, just breathe. You know, everything happens, you know, to different people in different ways. And you just got to remain confident in yourself. You have to trust yourself. You know, I was telling my clients, when's the last time that you failed yourself? Right. So just, just give yourself that hug in the morning and feel confident, you know, and just go. That's right. That's right. Well, schedules and just making sure that you stay steadfast to your plan. It sounds like as long as you can keep focused, you can have success. Yeah. You say Absolutely. you live on a schedule. I have to ask you, do you look forward to when you can be spontaneous? Uh, no, I'm actually not a spontaneous <laughs> person. I don't like surprises. I don't like spontaneity. Like, I'm just really black and white. Like, I just think that we just needs to just stay focused on the goal and you can there's always time you know you you set your time you allot your time that's like right. don't let life happen to you you happen to life i love that maisha it has been such a joy talking to you and congratulations on number 11 do we know if it's a boy or a girl we don't yet I'm oh for boy, it's though. gonna be a surprise yeah. we'll find out in four <laughs> months yep we sure will fantastic maisha thank you very much thank you for having me i appreciate you we're back after this